between the Duke Blue Devils and the Nevada Las Vegas Running Rebels. Now let's meet the starting lineup. For Duke at forward, a 6'7 from Western Virginia, number 33. At forward, a 6'7 senior from Dallas, Texas, number four, Larry Johnson. For Duke, at forward, a 6'6 senior from Clifton Park, New York, number 22, Greg Kubek. For UNLV, at forward, a 6'7 senior from Pasadena, California, number 32, Stacy Ogman. For Duke, at center, a 6'11 junior from Angola, New York, Number 32, Christian Leitner. For UNLV at center, a 6'9 senior from Manteo Island, North Carolina. Number 44, George Ackles. For Duke at guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Lancaster, Texas. Number 12, Thomas Hill. For UNLV at guard, a 6'1 junior from Detroit, Michigan. Number 12, Anderson Hunt. For Duke at guard, a six sophomore from Jersey City, New Jersey, number 11, Bobby Hurley. And for UNLV at guard, a 6'2 senior from Las Vegas, Nevada, number 50, Greg Anthony. And the coaches for Duke in his 11th season, Mike Krzyzewski. For UNLV in his 18th season, Jerry Tarkanian. All right, the Tark wants one more championship. Out of this bunch, we'll come back. Duke and UNLV next. ...who had a very tough time in the regional, needed something to get off to a good start. That was it. Anderson Hunt wasting no time. Wow. Oh, three-pointer. This is a dome, Jim, but he almost reached the banner with that one. And here's the matchup we talked about. Man to man, you can see Duke spreading things out way up high, trying to get some good spacing. Larry Johnson is on Grand Hill, and they've got Ackles on Leitner. Some of the matchups we were wanting to monitor right. today. You can see Duke going to use some clock. Three point on oh, Leitner. Shaquille O'Neal saw that play, and George Ackles will have to go out and respect Christian Leitner's tremendous ability to step outside. Straight man. It's Kubek on Johnson down low. Ackles says, I can shoot it out here too, but he comes off the mark. And you can see the strategy by Duke right away. Leitner is not going to guard Ackles. Make Larry oh. Johnson have some problems inside. How about that? A great pass is Hurley led Hill perfectly. And that ball may have even been helped going in by a UNLV defender. It put a little English on it, Jim, to it take it right up over the rim. You can see what Duke is going to do. Try to attack whenever possible, immediately. If they don't have something, bring it back out and play somewhat of a delay game. Great confidence boost for uh, Grant Hill with four points in the game's first minute. And it's Thomas Hill out on Hunt, and he's going to try to shadow him all the way to keep him out of that three-point mode. There's that matchup. Back yep. out to Anthony and Hurley. Augman. Kubek just banging around down there on Larry Johnson. And Leitner is trying to help him, not guarding Ackles at all. 15 on the shot. Hunt driving. Hunt. That's a, yep. Great defense by Duke on that trip. Now that's something that is really out of character for Vegas, and that is to have Anderson Hunt with dribble penetration instead of staying out in his area. That's Anthony's job. Here we see from the high camera the defensive strategy. Johnson's going to have to play perimeter defense. He's capable of doing that, but he'd rather be down on the low post. Leitner. He was bumped by Ackles. Jim, I'm seeing a couple of things right off the bat. Jerry Tarkanian made an excellent point. He said, I realize Duke has matchup problems with Kubek on Johnson, but I've got matchup problems with Leitner, because who's going to go outside to pick him up? Two shots for Christian Leitner. Don't call him Chris. He has an older brother named Chris, who's an umpire in the minor leagues. In fact, he's an umpire in the, in the Carolina area. A ball. Leitner now 29 of 32 free throws in the NCAA tournament. The number one free throw shooter in the tournament so 
far at six foot ten. Adds two free throws to the three pointer he hit earlier. Nine three Duke. And look at this pressure. Kubek presses and then gets back for Johnson. Anthony gets tangled, and they call a foul on Hurley, who was just lying on the floor. The feet got tangled. They slapped the foul on Hurley. Well, Hurley was down. Anthony went right over the top of him and tripped on Hurley. It had to either be a walk on Anthony or a foul on Hurley, and the official went in that, in that direction. I'm waiting to see when Vegas is going to get that ball to Larry Johnson down low. That's got to be the key for him, and they haven't been able to do it yet. Kubek has done a great job fronting him so far. Anthony too strong on the jumper. And inside, they call a push-off against Thomas Hill. And you can believe both of these coaches, after what happened in that first game, will be very hesitant to react too strongly from the sideline. Quickly inbounding it to Larry Johnson. Splits the defenders and scores. And Kubek, I'm sure, cannot be asked to stop Johnson. It's really to try to hold him up a little bit. Clayton left open. Nice dribble penetration by Grant Hill. Duke a perfect four for four from the floor. Oh, he is so strong inside. But Hill helps out and gets the steal. Now watch, Duke will go on the attack here. If they don't have something, bring it out and make UNLV work on the defensive end. Leitner called for it. He got it. Beautiful feed. Leitner with nine already, Billy. Are we seeing some Mike Krzyzewski attitude on his ball club? It's translated coach to player here. He has his guys believing they can play this UNLV team. Off the bounce pass to Ackles. Hurley says, hey, there was a travel out there. He, he's a guy that loves to referee while he plays. So, the top of his foot. One foot hobbled him a bit. He's fine now, but missing the first free throw. That, of course, not unusual because he's only shooting 59% on the year. Thirteen to six, Duke. Hunt on Hurley. Ackles now coming out to guard Leitner. Leitner won't mind going by him. What a play! Almost got it. Too strong. Ackles got away with a pretty good bump there. Hunt another high arching shot. Bounces right off the rim and over the backboard. Game two from the Hoosier Dome. Indianapolis. Jim Nance and Billy Packer. James Brown and Leslie Visser are here, along with Pat O'Brien and Mike Francesa. Duke with the early lead on the defending champions. Jim, one of the things that this matchup gives Duke a big advantage, Larry Johnson on Grand Hill, is that now Hurley does not have to dribble the ball up the court and work hard to get the ball in play. So Tarkanian's move to put Johnson on Hill really works in D Duke's advantage. Duke's largest lead, it's at nine. Six points by Grant Hill. Ackles left open for the jumper. They'll give him that shot. Percentage is there. Yep, Leitner staying back just to make sure they help out on the Johnson situation. And you can see Mike Krzyzewski going with substitutes. I guarantee you one of them will be for Kubek just to try to keep him fresh. Go, go. Leitner inside. Grant Hill right under the cylinder. And Greg Anthony comes out with it. And he'll turn that shoulder looking to hit on that pass. Augman tied up. Possession arrow belongs to the Rebels. Excellent play by Kubek to help out. Well, if anyone wondered if Duke can play with UNLV, the answer early is yes. Well, that's not a great play by the Rebels, but a nice save by Hunt. Antonio Lang is in for Duke, along with Brian Davis. And Lang will be on Johnson. Now, Lang has got more size than Kubek, nowhere near the experience, but is a great shot blocker. There he oh, is. Not Grant Hill, and they call it goaltending on Grant Hill. Lang is, is a tremendous shot blocker, quick off his feet, but again, does not have the lower body strength. Nor does, and look at the amoeba defense right away by Jerry Tarkanian. He was getting torn up in the man-to-man. -man. Had to use this against Utah almost the entire second half. 
And you remember when we talked to him the other day, Jimmy said, any game we win where we can't win it man-to-man, -man, I put an asterisk behind the win. He may need the asterisk today. Davis traveling. up at midcourt. Duke leading by five. Davis on Ogden. Boy, there's some neat matchups in this game. Terrific matchups. Anthony from behind Lang got a hand on it. There he is, the shot blocker I talked about. Lang is a, is a freshman from Alabama, and he started eight times this year, Billy. Well, he had six blocks against East Carolina and also against Michigan. And, and watch Leitner. He is staying off Ackles as much as possible to help out down inside. Good double down by Hurley that time. Ackles again challenged for the jumper. Johnson, strong move inside. Well, there's the block out. Lang has got to forget about trying to get rebounds when they go up. He's got to put a body on Larry Johnson. Six unanswered for the Rebels. And they're doing it out of the zone. Now, Lang is looking for the lob. There. Hurley's pass maybe telegraphed yeah, a bit. Ogden stole it. But he was trying to get it down to Lang inside, but he threw the baseball pass instead of going for the lob. Ogden somehow got it to Hunt. Look at Ackles' sky. Turn around and get the roll. Well, if you're Mike Krzyzewski, you've got to be saying in the game plan, if Ackles is going to beat us, we were in trouble anyway. And so far, George Ackles has come to the front. His substitute, however, is sitting on the bench right now. Now Leitner looking for the lob. Davis leans in. Ackles takes it away. Johnson made the play. Duke unable to do anything against the Amoeba so far. Larry Johnson fakes, goes inside, and turns it over. Ogden couldn't get it. And, of course, Mike Krzyzewski won an offensive charge on that play. No foul call. Kubek's back in, Billy, for Lang. Well, what that does against the Amoeba, now they have McCaffrey and Kubek, two pretty good three-point shooters, to try to go ahead and extend this defense out a little bit. Davis, as you know, not a good three-point shooter. Billy McCaffrey with the basketball. Good skip pass. Davis slashing to the hole. Oh, he the gets it to go. Oh. Had the spin on it, didn't he? Yep. Second shot today that Duke has been able to get the weasel right over that rim. Foul on Larry Johnson's is first. Good skip pass set this up so that Davis could go ahead and cut right through the seam of the zone. Larry Johnson reaches in. He is so strong. That ball went right under Spencer's arm. It just it touched the very bottom portion of the glass. Now, Spencer is not going to be able to step out and do the things that Ackles did. And this will be interesting now. He likes to go down on the low blocks and let Larry Johnson outside. So Leitner will have to occupy himself down low with Spencer. Three-point play by Brian Davis to get the lead back to four for Duke. Anthony hustling, coming up short. Getting it back, however. Oh, he is a tough kid. Plays with pain. Great experience. Was known as a shooter and scorer when he was at Portland before his transfer. Hurley penetrates, dishes to Kubek. Three from the corner is off. And Johnson snatches the rebound. Look Touchdown. at the pass to Hunt. Touchdown. Oh, the hand is to Ogman. And UNLV ties it at 18. Have you ever seen anybody in the college game throw that pass better than Larry Johnson? Boy, it's just a flick of the wrist. And now they go back to man-to-man. -to -man. Got back in this game with their zone. Now they go back to man-to-man. -to -man. And Leitner wants to clear out against Spencer. Leitner goes back out to Hurley. He goes on the blocks. Bounced it right off his own chest. Well, Christian Leitner a little bit too anxious to score. UNLV on a 12-3 run to tie it. Not surprised.
having to really be conscious of getting back on defense to prevent the break. Anderson hot on a rub off, trying to get his jumper. Spencer. This is the short one. But Johnson with the eighth offensive rebound. Missing. The Grant Hill for Duke. One of the things that UNLV has done is taken away the running game from Duke until that shot by Thomas Hill. Thomas Hill gets started. You've got to make some shots in transition against this team. Three-pointer. UNLV in front. You notice know, something different, Jim, in terms of the stroke of the UNLV experienced players compared to North Carolina in the first game. I mean, you know, nice, solid follow-through on the shot. Not pinching it off at all. And they go back to the zone. Spencer came around to deny, but they say he got a hand on the back of Leitner. Game being very closely officiated so far. 13 foul on UNLV. Duke will inbound underneath. Leitner had nine quick points, but since the turn to the amoeba, now back to man-to-man, -man, he hasn't scored. Here's Thomas Hill. Way too strong. Good job by Spencer, but Spencer twisted his ankle on that one. Hoffman suspended in there. Thomas Hill with a high rebound. You may see Ackles have to come back in the game. Spencer really... Uh, very gingerly on that ankle. And grimacing. Yep. As he's trying to front Leitner. Curley, three-pointer. Pretty good defense. To Augman get the rebound. Anderson Hunt spotting up over the side. One is three. And Anthony off the glass too strong. Second offensive rebound by Anthony. Larry Johnson lays it in. UNLV ahead by three. What made the play, though, was Greg Anthony coming in for that sec second rebound. Getting the points on second opportunities. Leitner, turnaround. No second chances at all for Duke. It's one shot and done. Probably a walk, got away with it. Got back in the hands of Augman. Grant Hill comes out of the pack. Bounces it to Hurley. Gets the trailer and Duke scores with Grant Hill. Now, Jim, if Vegas is going to get this much offensive rebounding, Duke has got to go long with somebody, release some players to force UNLV to have somebody back. As we saw, Greg Anthony is in there getting offensive rebounds and penetrating, so nobody's back on defense. And Duke has got to make them pay as they did right there for that play. You like that pass, didn't you? Excellent. Brian Davis has returned to the lineup. Crawford Palmer's in for the Blue Devils. He's fronting Larry Johnson on the far side. They go in to Spencer. Lefty shot way off the mark. Brian Davis, they say, bumped into Aukman. Another offensive board, though, Jim, and it is really starting to take the toll. A lot of easy second putbacks for UNLV. 11 offensive rebounds now. 11 to 0, and Ackles is back in. And what we see right here is Jerry Tarkanian wisely using his two big men. Christian Leitner has not yet been out of the game. And it is going to tell a, a toll on him as time goes by. Lob it right over Palmer. Johnson finds Aukman cutting to the hole, scoring, and a foul. Great teamwork inside. Larry Johnson with a soft pass. If that ball had been thrown hard, no way it could be handled. It just laid a feathery pass to him. That's just beautiful touch pass. Augman with the great hands and ability to hang up there and see what's going on before he delivered the shot. First on Palmer, fifth on Duke. Augman does not convert the three-point play. He set the record today as 145th game. Stacy Augman at UNLV, that's the all-time mark, breaking Freddie Banks' previous games played record. Over Ackles to Leighton. Saves it to Davis. Too strong. There's an offensive rebound by Leighton. First of the game for Duke. Right, first of the game. You talked about Augman setting records. A record of their own. They became, Augman and Johnson became only the fifth. Two guys to make the AP first team All-American. Missing outside. Gets back in his hands. Hurley strips it free. The save to Davis. Hurley's got to get back out on the court. Good, smart move by Davis. Augman and Johnson, first team AP All-American. Yep. First two from a team since uh, uh, North Mike, Carolina. That's right. Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins back in 1984. Yep. 
Duke can regain the lead with a basket here. And back to the zone goes UNLV. Davis gets Ackles to commit over to Hurley. Three-pointer. Hurley's on his way. Three for Hurley, his first points. Cross-court pass to Hunt. Oh, gets the soft roll. How did Anthony see him? Uh, he, Anthony has that body turned, ready to fire and deliver that ball in excellent fashion. And, of course, we know that Anderson Hunt can finish, whether it be on the break or the drive. Jerry Tarkanian's been forced to play an awful lot of zone. Grant Hill lost the dribble. Augman to steal. Anthony gets the assist to Hunt. Boy, when UNLV goes on the break, do they convert a high percentage or not? I mean, you know. You know what that reminded me of? Remember uh, the Arkansas game where it seemed like every time we looked up, Hunt was scoring uncontested on a layup? Well, as Tark said, it was supposed to be 40 minutes at home, but he thought it was 40 minutes of layups for his team. <laughs> what a block by Ackles. 40 minutes of layups, yeah. Anthony. Two-pointer, they say. Leitner on the rebound. 6.50 left in the first half. A two-point lead for the run and rebels. And the defense stays in the zone. See, they're matching up out front. Good pass. Oh. pass. Count the basket. Leitner's going to the line. This young man has not been out of the game. He's being matched up by two very good centers and still putting on a terrific show. Living in the seam with the pass. Christian Leitner goes up, realizing no chance putting it on the board. Go for the dunk and still scores. He already has 13, can add a point to that total here. We just talked about Augman and Johnson being first team All-America. Leitner made second team. That puts Duke back in front, Billy. But a good first half, hasn't it? Excellent first half. 6.36 to go, first half. Team. Then against the normal situation where UNLV holds teams to just 39%. Duke plays their first zone of the game. Leitner is not in there at the moment, but he's checking in at the scores table to get an extended blow. Right, you can see what the strategy is for Mike Krzyzewski. When Leitner out of the game, go zone, because they'd be very, very small without him in there. They've got Palmer in the middle. They whip it around. To Evan Gray. Gray drives offensive, they say. Got by with a walk before the charge. An explosive score from off the bench. No basket. Offensive on Everett Gray. There's the walk. Then he finally put the ball down, but does pick up the charge. Crawford Palmer drew the charge. You know, Arnold Palmer used to be noted for his charges, and now Crawford Palmer <laughs> Takes being one. known for taking it, right? <laughs> Nice dish. Oh. Leitner, too strong. Johnson with the rebound. Excellent pass inside. Greg Anthony really pushing the ball up the floor beautifully in the first half. How about that shot? Greg Anthony, nine for the point guard of the Rebels. But one thing that Duke has proven, last year they just got taken completely out of the game with a tough man of man pressure. Today they have forced Spencer 
had the little bit of an ankle problem, and it really changes the strategy when he goes in there. He is a low box player, and he also could not possibly go out and play Christian Leitner in a man-to-man -man defensive situation. James Brown has an update for us. James? All right, Jimmy. And talking with a number of the Duke players before the game, they acknowledged that intimidation was a major intangible advantage that UNLV had last year. Coach K wanted his team to get off to a fast start.